All right, I'll try to give you all another good example of the assistant power, uh, uh, I'm sorry, assistant driving plus. So right now it says here, assistant driving plus ready because I, I went under 40, I'm on the highway. I've gone under 40 for, you know, seven seconds or something and I'm still under 40 and I can activate that system. So if I press the mode button, because that's what it tells you, it says uh, assist plus ready, a message came up and said press mode to change it and so if I press the mode button you can see it switches to this assist plus which is normally gone not visible when you're going above 40 and see it's staying at uh, it's saying stay attentive because I had the phone in front of my face so right now we went above 40 and it deactivated the system but now we're gonna go we're gonna slow down again since I already activated it once recently it's going to re auto re automatically activate it for me so right now it just reactivated you can see assist plus I did not have to, to, to press the mode button and you can see the lights on the steering wheel will both turn green uh, normally when you just have assistant driving assistant running uh, those won't be green I don't know why that didn't that was supposed to go automatically but I don't know why that didn't turn green or they, they automatically, they, they don't stay lit green, uh, but they will turn yellow and red. So anyways, with this mode, it will drive completely for you without any hands on the wheel. See, I've hurt my right hand, but my right hand uh, is not on the wheel. I have it resting on my lap, and my left hand is obviously holding the camera. And as you can see, car takes over completely as long as I'm going under 40 now if I hit 40 which we're hitting it's gonna sit at 40 for a second if the cars are going faster it is not gonna go above 40 yet but now that we're slowing down it can be a little nerve-wracking at first to get used to it but if the cars were to continue going faster and faster and it noticed the gap was getting further it would then kick over 40 this the assisted plus would deactivate it would go down to regular assisted plus assisted and you would be required to put your hands back on the wheel but it won't ever leave once you're in an assistant mode it won't leave those modes unless you fall outside of the one of the parameters so that's cool. Something will always stay engaged. So now we're we're at 40, and we're gonna slow down again. So the system will stay active. But I'm not gassing or braking, and my hand is near my lap. It's, it hovers near the wheel sometimes, just in case. But for the most part, when you're going slower than 40, like this, or 15 and under. You don't need, you're pretty comfortable. So yeah, that is a short example of the traffic jam assist mode in the car they call it assist plus, driving assist plus. Uh, regular mode is just driving assist, but traffic jam assist is known as driving assist plus in the car. And when it's active, you can see it here. You can also see it in the HUD. Uh, it's hard to read, but uh, the same visual you see here with the with the wheel of what systems are active, it, it also says Assist Plus under there. All right, so as you can see, now we're going above 40, and it's telling me hands on the wheel. And it was turning red to say, hey, we're about to shut you down uh, if you don't put your hands on quickly enough. So now I'm back into regular driving assist. And hopefully there will be no more traffic, but there's the example.